Cruz Toyota, and we're talking about leaving the ultimate voice messages, correct? Correct. All right, people, we're on video, so you need to make noise. Yeah. 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 Okay, good. Woo! Woo! All right, listen, long story short, um, the majority of what you're all going to be doing on the phones is leaving voice messages. Again, as I mentioned to you before, JD Power says that you have an 11 to 14% connection ratio. Again, it's 11 to 14% which means the majority of what you're going to do is leave voicemail message after voicemail message after voicemail message. So if I was going to be kind of funny, I'd say you must do what? Give good voicemail, right? <laughs> All right. So what I want you to do is how are you going to be able to give good voicemail or leave the ultimate voicemail message? Begin with the end result in mind. Uh, Dealer Synergy's provided Peruzzi with 60 unique voicemail scripts. I'm going to resend these out to the dealership tonight. So you're going to have six zero, 60 voicemail scripts. Uh, the owner is, you know, Bill is going to turn around and he's going to review all of the uh, voicemail scripts and he's going to modify, enhance, etc. But I want to kind of go over some best practices of how and what should be included in your voice message. We just did a quick role play and I asked about three or four of you guys to, you know, kind of, you know, demonstrate leaving a voicemail message. A couple little tips that you, you want to remember when you're leaving a voicemail message, so if you want to write this down, is slow down what you say because what we're doing in the internet department is leaving phone call after phone call after phone call after phone call and sometimes you get in repetition. It's almost like cadence in the military, you know, uh, or like, you know, row, 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 you're in a cadence. you kind of got a, a rhythm to you. You don't want to leave, hey, this is Sean from Peruzzi Toyota, give me a call right now, da da da. One more time. You don't want to just rush to leave the voice message because you've got another prospect to call. Because again, if you have only an 11 to 14 percent connection ratio, that means the majority of people that you contact or attempt to contact, I should say, don't ever make it on the phone. What you're doing is you're just trying to. I see a lot of times dealers are just trying to get through that voice message so they can get off the phone call and just dial again. Does that make sense to everybody? What I want you to do is be cognizant that that's not the best way to do it. You want to be cognizant that there is an easier, more productive way. Just take a moment and leave the voicemail. Now, I mentioned you have a library, a diversified library of voicemail scripts. Now, let's say you turn on, you're going to execute template number one for your voicemail script. Certain basic things apply, such as you want to repeat your number twice. So when, when you were going over your voicemail script and it was just, a, you know, hi, this is Sean Bradley from Peruzzi Toyota. I was calling about your internet purchase request on the 2011 Toyota Camry. You could reach me at 555-1212. Once again, that number is 555-1212. Again, stop narrative. How many times have you all heard a voicemail message and you only had the voicemail message phone number once, the, the response, and you have to go back, rewind like three or four times? Who's it happened to before? Doesn't drive you crazy? Because yeah, you have to stop and listen to it again. Louder. Because you have to stop and listen to it again, and it's just a yeah. thing. So again, there's certain little etiquettes that you need to remember mm -hmm. is make sure that you speak clearly, one, and then two, make sure you repeat the phone number. Does that make sense, everybody? Mm -hmm. The other thing is this. How about provide additional contact you know, uh, information? What other contact information can you put besides your phone number? Email. Okay, so you have your phone number. You have your email address. Anything else? Your name. Your name, obviously, for sure. My name is Sean Bradley. You know, besides my name, what else? Social media. Folks, social media is the number one form of communication on the planet, right or wrong? Right. So again, if it's the number one form of communication on the planet, you also have instant messaging. Now, I'm not saying that you want to do something like this. Hey, you know, hi Tina, this is Sean Bradley. You know, I'm sorry it didn't get you on the phone. I was calling about your internet purchase request on the 2011 Camry. Um, here's how you can get in touch with me. I give her my phone number, my email address, my this, my blood type. You don't want to make it that crazy, you know what I mean? You might want to pick Brian one or two 31, different ways. 30, so again, I might say, you know, um, hi, my name is Sean Bradley. I'm calling on behalf of Auto Trader and Peruzzi Toyota. I was calling about your internet purchase request on the 2008 uh, Camry LE, I got great news, that vehicle is definitely available. You can reach me at area code, you know, 215-555-1212. Again, that number is area code 215-555-1212. Or you could, you know, email me at sean at dealersynergy.com. Or you might say instead of the email, or you could contact us at uh, uh, facebook.com forward slash Toyota. Does that make sense? 
So again, whatever you think will be the strongest form of communication um, you know, for you, I would at least give more than one. I would give either the phone number and email address or phone number and social media. You will increase your, your opportunity of them calling you back. And here's the other thing, or contacting you. What happens if they're in a position uh, that they can't call you right there, they're at work or what have you? Does that make sense? If, if you gave them an, an alternative of a phone, I mean, besides a phone number, such as your social media or your email, again, you might have an additional shot of them, what? Contacting you. Time check? 5.40. Okay, good. So now, to recap, I just want to stress that leaving voice message the right way is really important. Now, what else do you want to know about um, and keep in mind is that you're not the only company that's going to be sending these prospects, you know, follow up, follow up, follow up. You know, statistically, it says that, you know, about five to seven other people are going to be engaging your prospect. Another way of saying that is the average internet prospect is looking at five to seven other dealerships or websites besides yourself. So if we we're at Peruzzi Toyota in Hatfield, Pennsylvania, um, again, and let's say I was a prospect, Sean Bradley's looking for uh, a brand. get an internet purchase request in from, from a prospect, you're not literally the only person, the only fish in the pond. You've got to always assume Again, if you're going to email, phone call, email, phone call, email, phone call for 30 straight days, maybe, you know, and, and I know this is for a fact, some of your, your, your diversified voicemail scripts might have different strategies. One might be just a basic professional, like, hi, I'm Sean from Peruzzi, calling you about your internet purchase request, yada, yada, yada. Another one might be, hey, Tina, this is Sean Bradley from Peruzzi Toyota. I just wanted to let you know what you can expect by doing business with us here at Peruzzi Toyota. We offer rewards program, we offer free delivery to your home or office, etc. Think about leaving your value package proposition on somebody's voice message. Don't ever ask the question, hey, are you still looking for a car? Always assume that they're looking for a vehicle. Your voicemails need to be tailored on what? On giving them reasons why they should call you back. Uh, sales. How many times a day or a week or a month is there a sale at a car dealership? People, come on, loud. Six and days always, a week. Yeah, always, because we're only open six days a week. Right. Exactly. There's always a sale. You want to call somebody back and leave urgency, create excitement on the voicemail message. This is really important because you don't want to call, hi, uh, this is Sean from Peruzzi Toyota, you know, please call me back. Oh, hell no, I'm not calling these people back. You want to call them back, Tina, I got great news for you. We have an amazing sale here at Peruzzi Toyota. Please give me a call back so I can give you details because you need to come in. It's amazing what's going on over here. End of the month sale, you know, end of the year sale. It's, you know, Memorial Day, you know, pre-sale, Memorial Day sale, Memorial Post Day sale, inventory liquidation. How are you going to do that with sales or perception of sales? You could also, you know, create it by your value package proposition. You could, you know, there's a bunch of things that you could do, but what I don't want you to do is just leave a basic, generic, boring voice. you to memorize them if you can and I was really impressed how many voicemail messages did you memorize well, I think I ten. so you've got ten already down there that's awesome that's what's going to help you you know um, uh, execute them better you don't want to read the voicemail script like it's a telemarketing script hi my name is Sean you know please call me because you want to make it sound like you're just leaving a voicemail message it's very professional and very eloquently executed all right that's it